Welcome back to SnowRunner, guys, and today we are back out here on highway hauling the region after buying our new house and moving into our new shop. I, well, let's just say I spent a little bit too much time on Marketplace the other night and may or may not have found another truck to buy, and I also may or may not have already made an offer on it, pending whether or not the uh, test drive goes well. Now, here's the reason why I decided to buy another truck. Well, there's a couple of reasons. So, if we have multiple bases of operation on multiple maps, obviously we're going to need multiple main hauling rigs. And also, you know, I was thinking about it, and obviously we do have some things down at the shop that can haul, like, for example, the, the Titan and the Super Duty. Obviously, we're not going to try to haul with the C8, but the Super Duty is probably the only one that I would use for, uh, like, big hauls, because the Titan is a little bit more along the lines of something that I would use, maybe for, like, pulling somebody out of a ditch, or doing a little bit of trail riding or overlanding, but the heavy haul stuff I would leave to either the, uh, the 5th gen right here, or the Super Duty back at the shop. And so, like I said before, I wanted to be able to kind of spread my fleet out between multiple maps, and that is why we're going to look at another truck. Now, the truck we're going to look at is definitely a lot more along the lines of a workhorse, and it's going to need a little bit of work, but I'm excited for the project nonetheless. So let's fire this thing up and head on out to take a look at it. Oh, I bet my neighbors love me right now. What time is it? It's, oh, God, it's 7 o'clock in the morning. Ah, it's fine. That's the normal time you would expect someone with a straight-piped 5th gen to leave the house, right? Sure. All right, let's make our way on out of the neighborhood. Oh, God. Please don't wreck on the way out of your new neighborhood. Please don't. That would be, that would be, you know, literally the worst possible thing. Man, that boost hits hard, I'll tell you what. They're like, early in the morning, man, you're like, if, you, uh, if you're in the throttle just a little bit too long, you know, the, the, you're in the throttle just a little bit too long, the boost kicks in, you know, there you go. Although I do have to go ahead and flex on the whole neighborhood real quick. Me. Okay, thank you. Flex mode engaged. All right, let's make our way on down to, I believe... Shoo! Get out of the ditch! Jeez! Did someone turn the boost up on this truck while I was asleep? Because it feels faster. It feels way faster than the last time I drove it. Maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm just crazy. I, may, I, I might be just crazy. I don't know. That's, that's kind of weird. All right, now I think they said they were going to be meeting us down at the country store. And, you know, there's nobody around, so why not do a quick boosted launch on the way there? Let me go ahead and lower the suspension back down before I do that. All right, three, two, one, go! Please don't wreck this time. There we go. Thing certainly gets out of the hole pretty good. Ooh! It's a little bit slithery, though. Let's try to be at least moderately controlled about making our way down to this truck deal. Jeez, stay away from the freaking guardrail, thank you. Alright, so here's the country store slash farm store. I think I see the truck that we're supposed to test drive. Let's make our way down in here. There it is. It's a good old third gen. Now, that is actually a pre-facelift third gen, which is really interesting because I feel like, you know, everybody is always, like, all over the, uh, the post-facelift third gens, but I really like the pre-facelift ones as well. I like both, uh, like, kind of both of the generations of third gens. Alright, so let's go ahead and shut this thing down and take a look around this third gen. Now, it's really simple. The setup is the setup is actually super basic, but the suspension underneath, as we can clearly see, has been fully reinforced. It's already got quite the hitch on it as well. Looks like it's had some exhaust work done. I wouldn't doubt that it's got, like, a tune. Um, interesting choice on the aftermarket steering wheel as well. Uh, updated dash. Kind of dig that. Now, as far as, like, once we test drive it, that'll kind of give us an idea of, you know, where the tune is and what kind of the, you know, what kind of performance we're working with. I don't know. We might duly convert this thing. We might not. We'll have to wait and see. But let's start it up and take it for a test drive. Starts right up. Like, literally starts right up. There's n there was no waiting on that one. Super smooth, yet real torquey. We'll do a quick little loop around the neighborhood just to see. Now, obviously, this thing's not going to be fast. It definitely feels like it's got kind of a stock slash toe tune on it right now. 
We're going to change that. Trust me when I say we are going to absolutely change that. Let's see how it pulls a little bit of a hill up here. It sounds good. It's already up in sixth gear. It's real smooth. Like, real smooth. Lights work. That's good. All the lights. Yep. All the lights work really, really well. There should be a little turnout up here on the left, and that's what we'll use to turn around real quick. Now, I should have brought a trailer to actually, you know, haul this thing back with, because now thinking about it, if I drive this thing back, I'll have to leave my 5th gen at the country store parking lot, and I don't really want to do that, because I really like that 5th gen. Not that I'm worried about it out here, but... I mean, I want this truck, so I know I'm gonna I know I'm gonna go through with the deal. I know I'm gonna bring it back. But again, I'm not sure what to do with my fifth gen. I tell you what, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and finalize the deal with this truck, and then we will park it at the country store and we'll come back with a trailer and take it back to the shop. Now, once we take it back to the shop, that's when we can actually start going through it and start getting the upgrades started. So Let's see. All right. So this thing I'm definitely down to uh, down to pick up. I am back and forth about the dually conversion. Like, I want to do it. I really want to do it. But at the same time, I don't know. Well, nah, it's definitely, I don't know. My brain is definitely saying more of a yes to the dually conversion than a no. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and set you right there. Shut you down. Definitely want this thing. And I love how it's like, I love the way it looks next to the 5th gen as well. It looks really, really good next to the 5th gen. That's awesome. I really dig that. I really dig how both of these trucks look together. And I haven't really even messed with the 3rd gen yet. So let's go ahead and get back in the 5th gen and head back to the shop and grab our trailer. Now, our trailer, the, the one that we have right now anyway, is going to be super over the top for this truck. Like, super over the top. Actually, wait a minute. I've got a, uh, a short trailer, a short pull behind back at the house that we can use. That would be brilliant. We should absolutely use that. I mean, hey, it came with the house. So you might as well, right? Like, literally, it came with the house. So why not? Woo! Okay, come on, lights. The lights didn't want to turn off. Typical Dodge electrical problems. It's fine. I have got to fix that cab corner. That was entirely my fault. I mean, I'll fix it in the shop later, but I feel bad about it because that was literally entirely my fault. On the brakes. All right, let's head down to the new house real quick. We'll get that trailer hooked up. And this will be a lot more convenient than bringing the big six unit out. The six unit gooseneck I would prefer to keep for uh, bigger jobs anyway because if I use it for little stuff like this, I mean, it's fine and you can do it, but... You sometimes don't want to get the giant trailer out if you just want to haul, you know, one fairly small truck. All right, let's back in and grab our pull behind. That should be good to go. Yep, she's good. Let's go. Yep, me again to literally everybody in my neighborhood. Don't worry about it. Yep, just me. Just me. I would... What, like, what would you do if you saw this thing just rolling through your freaking neighborhood? Absolutely just, like, freight training through it. Freaking trailer sideways. Don't worry about it. Oh, hopefully we don't have to cover the damages to that light pole. Sheesh. All right, full set. Whoa! Come on, trailer, get back under control. Ow! Jeez. Could you, like, maybe not, you know, weigh nothing? This trailer acts like it weighs five dang pounds. It's raining out here, too, so we got to be a little bit more careful. It's going to be a little bit more slippy. Nobody coming. Come on. Yep. Nobody coming. Nobody saw me run that stop sign. No one at all. No one. <laughs> oh, that was brilliant. All right. Hopefully, nobody has taken off with the truck we just bought. And thankfully... Nope. I would be really worried if someone had. I, I, I would be genuinely, genuinely worried if someone had. Let's actually, you know what? Nobody needs to know that we're going to use this little, uh, this little rise in the parking lot uh, for a little bit of a loading assist. Nobody needs to know. Oh, this will actually, this will work so well. 
All right. Once it's up on the trailer, the third gen is coming home with me. Or technically, it's coming back to the shop. There she goes. Easy, dude. Oh, that was awesome. All right, let's go ahead and shut it down. And let's see. Uh, the weight the weight isn't balanced all that bad. All right, let's strap it down. Fire the truck up, and we'll head on back to the shop. I'm so excited to get this thing in the shop. It's going to be so good. Don't hit the Durango. Please don't hit the Durango. Oh, look at that, though. That's awesome. Dude, that's so freaking sick. Like, we definitely got to get a picture of bringing the third gen home for the first time. Oh, dude. That's awesome. I love it. Had to, like, you know, hop out of the truck and get a photo on my phone, you know? Just got to do it. You got to do it. All right. Heading back up to the main road. Just make sure nobody's coming. I'm going to be, obviously, a little bit more careful now because I've got, you know... Precious Cargo, my brand new work rig. Well, new to me anyway. Not necessarily a brand new third gen. It's got some work miles on it, but it's kind of what you got to expect from a third gen. And plus, we're going to go through it anyway. We're going to replace the turbo. We're going to replace the fuel system. So it's going to be basically brand new when we're done with it. We might be dually converting it. You never know. All right. My only concern right now is that there's very little parking at the shop as it is. So pulling this thing into the shop is going to be a little, uh, a little interesting. I'm not sure how the ordeal of pulling this into the shop is going to go, but we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Has that bridge been crossed yet? No. Will it be soon? Sure. Sure. We'll be fine. Woo. Easy does it. Come on. Man, we haven't even stopped for, like, freaking coffee and breakfast. I will tell you, though, it's amazing that the coffee shop is right across the street. What time is it? Oh, almost 11 o'clock, and we haven't had, like, coffee or breakfast yet? Bro, I'm about to lose it. Okay. Yep. Coffee and breakfast right across the street there, and I ain't, I ain't even stopped in. Oh, boy. How are we going to do this? That big old gooseneck. I, I need to find a better place for that gooseneck. Hey, at least it stopped raining, though. I guess they won't really... Well, here's the thing. I guess the coffee shop won't really mind if I unload in their parking lot. Don't worry about it. I'm just trying not to block the road. That's all I'm trying to do. I'm just trying not to block the road, y'all. I won't block your parking lot for very long. Let me get out of the entryway. So we can get the third gen back out onto the road and then over towards the shop. Yeah, there we go. All right, let's shut her down. Undo the straps. We'll get this third gen off the trailer and get it into our shop. It's going to be a fun project. It really is. May scrape the hitch here. Ah, eh, scraped it a little bit, but not too worried about it. Oh my god, I messed up the bumper and everything. Really? All right, apparently I gotta be a whole heck of a lot more careful getting these trucks off of the trailers. All right, let's make our way across the street. Man, I gotta find a better place for that gooseneck. That gooseneck is not, uh, that gooseneck is not in a good spot right there. All right, we ready to get this thing into the shop? Shop door is in a little bit of an awkward place, but here, let me go ahead and back this guy up just a tad. So I can be better lined up to go in the door. All right, let's go in the shop. And we're going to go with a full like performance build on the 12 valve. And we're going to do a built trans. We're going to do a fully reinforced like tow package suspension.